right, hello everybody, and thank you for stopping in. I hope today finds everybody safe and healthy and happy. Um, today I'm going to watch a video that popped up in my feed yesterday. It's about a two-month-old video, but it's quite relevant now. And I'm sure everyone knows what is going on in Gaza and have their opinions of it. Also, I'm sure everybody knows what has recently taken place between Israel bombing Iran's consulate in Syria and Iran sending a bunch of drones at Israel. Um, as we wait for Israel's response to that, I just want to say that I hate that the U.S. had to waste so much money defending Israel, and I'm glad we stated that we will not take place in any response that they might have. We still need to find some better humanitarian aid for Gaza and end the senseless killing and atrocities that are going on there. With that said, this is a short video comparing the Israeli and Iranian militaries in 2024. Um, as I said, it was about two months old, so I guess a little bit changed. I ran short a few hundred drones, and Israelis short a lot of anti-air defense missiles. But let me know what you think in the comments, but please keep them cordial, and thank you for watching. This is the disclaimer. Um, comparing Iran versus Israel. Here we go. Global military rank. Iran 14th, Israel 17th. I actually thought Israel would be a little higher than that. You know, they're always kicking off a war somewhere. You would think they'd just be higher because they're always fighting. Okay, so we're just gonna go through some demographic stuff. It looks like here, the capitals. Population. Ah, Iran's got a good many people. GDP, nominal. Israel's gonna beat them there. Oh, that's a big difference in per capita. That flashing at the top of the screen, I hope nobody's epileptic. It's really getting on my nerves. Still going through just some, okay. Total nuclear weapons, Israel between 90 and 100. Um, Iran, research and development. And if you remember, Obama signed a treaty with the Iran trying to, you know, get them to stop developing nuclear weapons and um, in return normalize relations with them. And Trump, like an idiot, threw that out the window. So that's where we're at now on that. Defense budget, pretty big difference there. Two and a half times more for Israel. Total military, 670,000. 1.1A active military, 610. Active military, 170,000. So Israel has got these 465,000 reserves and a population of 9 million. So that's one in less than one in 12, more than one in 20 people are in the reserve. So I wonder if they're just saying we've got 465,000 men between the ages of 25 and 50 that we could call up or are they actually in military shape? That's what I wonder. I always wonder that with the country's reserve numbers. Total army personnel. See, like here, Israel, this doesn't make sense. 526,000, but they only have 170,000 active military personnel. So how do they have more total army personnel? I guess that's including the reserves also. Total tanks. You know, I'm not sold on tanks because we've seen in Ukraine and a lot of it depends on the quality of tanks and they might you know, they're kind of, in some environments, they're outdated. You know, over there, you've got a lot of deserts, a lot of open spaces, so they can be a little more effective probably in tank warfare. But in other places in the world, not so much. Armored vehicles. 
43,000 armored vehicles and they have 170,000 active military personnel so they have an armored vehicle for every three soldiers seems like a bit excessive and some infantry fighting vehicles APCs okay Self-propelled artillery, about even there. Field artillery, a bit more. And see, with some of these though, it's still the quality that matters a lot. You know, your field artillery is useless if you don't have any way to aim it. Rocket projectors, well that's a big difference in Iran's favor. Air Force. got a lot of people for the number of aircraft they have. And again, the combat aircraft, this is one of those things that we saw in past um, conflicts. The quality does matter greatly on these. Fighter aircraft, uh, again, the same thing. Neither one of these has the B-1 bomber. I don't know why that's being shown in this picture. I guess because neither one of them's got a bomber. AWACS. So that's a, that's a, that's important having that AWACS recon. None of them's got the SR-71 Blackbird. It's been retired. The U.S. doesn't even use it anymore. EA warfare. Those have the roles been taken on by other aircraft now, basically. 86 transport aircraft. 12. Oh. That's interesting. Two thousand plus UAVs, a thousand plus. But we've got to remember they just sent two hundred of those. Plus they're giving a bunch of them to Russia. Israel has forty-two airports in that small of a country. Navy. Hundred and one vessels, sixty-seven. And I'm not sure, I imagine most of these vessels on both sides are not blue water vessels. You know, they're, you know, the littoral combat ships or something like that, you know, just for close in. They, neither one of them, I think, is going to go around the horn and, you know, up the Persian Gulf. I don't think Israel's going to go around there and I don't think Iran's going to come back around into the Red Sea or anything. So they've got those helicopters, but they don't have any way to get them anywhere. So you got frigates. Israel doesn't have any frigates. Corvettes, three, seven. I do hate that this video is showing almost all American military vessels. I wish it would show, you know, something else. Submarines, 19. Five Israel kind of lacking there. 
But again, submarines are one of those things. You know, I think North Korea boasts a bunch of submarines, but they're old diesel electric submarines that, you know, you can hear coming from 50 miles away. Patrol, see, so yeah, these are those close-in patrol vessels, Coast Guard vessels, basically. They're calling them Navy, but they're basically Coast Guard. Merchant Marine, whoa, that's a big difference. Ports four, five. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. We have the comparison of Israel and Iran's military power in 2024. Um, let's just all hope that this ends pretty soon and that everything in Gaza ends pretty soon. And, you know, some of the needless suffering in the world just stops. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please stay safe wherever you are and don't forget to smile. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.